All right, guys, today we're going to be featuring a brand new company to the channel. It is called Voodoo Men's Craft, and it is one that you definitely want to hear about. So welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. Voodoo Men's Craft actually started back in uh, December of 2019. It was a dropship company uh, at that point. And then the end of last year, September of last year, Alex, who I know from uh, Instagram, went by Blue Shirt Bearded. Uh, he did some uh, reviews. He comments on my videos. I think he's a subscriber. And I think we really have very similar taste and he likes the more complex kind of scents. So he came on board and is doing the scent mixing and making the products now. So it's no longer a dropship company. And now the original owner, uh, Jeremy, he's the one that does all of the graphics and artwork design. And it looks really, really cool. And they've got an excellent thing going. So I want to tell you all about out of here. Love these scents. Love the feel and beard of the products. I've got three oils. I've got a, uh, a one ounce butter. And then I also have a soap that's actually in the shower right now. So the prices on these is $17.99 for uh, the oil blend. So it's a one ounce oil blend and it is emu. Uh, it's a 50-50 emu blend. So 50% emu and then the rest is apricot, almond, avocado, and vitamin E. So that's a great price uh, already for an emu blend. You usually can't get them that cheap and uh, they work really, really good. So if you're a fan of those emu blends, uh, you would definitely want to pick up some of these. If you're not a fan of emu blends for whatever reason, Reason, then that's really your only option here. So this may not be the company for you, which is okay too. Um, the one ounce butter is um, $15.99 and that's a small one. So I like the idea of offering the one ounce butter, but I think maybe they should also at least offer a bigger size, uh, a two or maybe a three ounce would be a nice compromise because it won't scale linearly, right? You, you say, uh, a two ounce butter wouldn't be double that price because a lot of times it's the graphics and the labels and the, uh, the, uh, the, the can and everything else, the tin that it comes in that kind of drives the price up. So at least offer a bigger option maybe in the future, I would say. But this is a very smooth butter. Works really, really well for me. Uh, it's kind of that medium consistency. It's just, uh, you know, it's got enough moisture in it. It's not too dry. It's not too waxy. Uh, last a long time. It's good in conditioning. And uh, it has got refined shea butter in it. It also has emu in it, avocado and vitamin E works really, really well. Uh, and then the soap uh, is a small soap. So it's only a two ounce soap. So if you're in interested in picking up one of those, you can try one for $5.99 that comes in six different scents. Um, uh, Alex said he makes this himself. Uh, and you can actually get a box so you can get all six cents for $25.99. You can just try them all out. They work really, really well, nice and smooth, doesn't leave any film, filmy residue. Uh, I'm a fan of the soaps as well. Uh, he also has an eight ounce wash and conditioner that he does not make himself, and, and most companies don't uh, make the wash and condition themselves. A lot of more things go into making those uh, water based products, but it's $14.99 for each one, which is a really good price. Haven't had a chance to try those yet, maybe in a future review will be doing that. Uh, by the way, on these uh, oil blends, you can get a trio box with three different scents that you want to pick for $49.99. Um, plus, you can get free shipping at $70. Uh, base, your base shipping is either $5 or $8 if it's more than 13 ounces. International, uh, international shipping is available for my folks outside of the U.S. And then also, I have a special discount code that you guys can use. It's Banjo15. You can save 15 more percent. Makes this a really uh, a really affordable good way to try a brand new company at least brand new company to me and now let's get into these scents so everything across the board working for me love the products love the feel and beard uh, the prices look good the artwork looks terrific um, so this one is called Corleone and then I've got one that's called is it tobacco dreaming so those tobacco scent people uh, and i'm a fan of tobacco scents and then the barbershop so we got one called mr dapper i love all three uh, i don't know which one i start with let's see which one's on the list here the corleone we'll start with that one i think this one's my favorite uh, even though i really like the other two i really like the barbershop one too and which is surprising because i don't usually like barbershops i don't go gaga over them like some guys do this one i love so if you like the kind of sense that i do um this one says modern cologne patchouli cedar uh, oud grapefruit cocoa cocoa butter cashmere 
Um, so you get that smooth richness to it uh, from the cocoa butter cashmere is what I get to start with maybe a little bit of that oud. I don't really get any patchouli in it at all. Okay, so if you're like, oh, it says patchouli, uh, that is kind of a trigger word for me too. I don't get patchouli at all. All right, so you get that smooth cocoa butter cashmere. Uh, it's got a little sweetness, but really smooth to it with the oud. When you open it up and, and you warm it up, you get that grapefruit with a little bit of that back note of cedar kind of freshens it up. And then after that, it'll smooth back down into that cashmere smell. Really, really love this scent. This one will make one of my top scents videos coming up. All right, so that's called Corleone. Check that out. Let me know if that sounds good to you. By the way, you want to go on and read the description of all of these scents. Uh, they all sound amazing. All right, next up, let's do the barbershop scent. This has become my new favorite barbershop scent. I don't like barbershops. Love this one. I mean, I like some barbershops. I just, I'm just not as crazy about them as some guys are. Uh, so this one is a little bit different. It's black pepper, old time barbershop, amber oud, which smooths it out a little bit. So I like that better. Vetiver, lemon, and then it's got that cashmere cedar uh, in it as well. So it's, it's a perfect blend of the smoothness, richness, plus it's got the barbershop. It's got a little bit of a uh, pop with the lemon and the vetiver and the black pepper. It's got the best of all three of those kind of uh, places to go with it. So you get all of that. Uh, in it, you can smell a little bit of that lemony, uh, lemon vibe in it. And then you get that smoothness of the cashmere and the cedar that goes along with it. The old time barbershop definitely comes through. Highly suggest when that uh, you guys check this one out if you're a fan of uh, barbershop scents, or if you just like kind of clean scents, you like rich scents, smooth scents, you know, basically all the good adjectives that I can think of uh, work for these particular scents. So, the last one, and you have to like uh, tobacco to be to really like this one. Now, I like this one. Uh, and sometimes you go, oh, I love tobacco scents. And you get one that says tobacco, and you're like, I don't even really smell the tobacco. This one, you definitely smell the tobacco. It's not overpowering, uh, but it's pretty it's pretty much on the strong side, and it is tobacco. So let me know who likes tobacco scents out there. So this one is tobacco, bay leaf, oud tobacco, pipe tobacco, sweet tobacco, Cuban tobacco. It's all got tobacco in it. But uh, So you get all of those different types of tobaccos blended together. You can pick up a few different things here and there. Kind of depends on, uh, you know, what your preferences are and what you like and how the wind hits you and all of that. But definitely a good tobacco scent. It is earthy, but it's not super bittery. It's not super peppery. Uh, it's not super sweet either. Uh, oh, by the way, it's got a little smoked leather and smoked vanilla in it as well, but it's not overly sweet. It's not overly leathery. It does not smell like smoke. Uh, either like campfire smoke or anything like that. So a really good, well-blended, lots of layers on the tobacco scent. So uh, I can't say enough about the scents and the products here for this company. For me, it's the best new company I've tried in a long, long time. All right. Um, there's some other ones uh, that are available now. Uh, some of them are seasonal. Some of them say new. I'll just read out a couple of them and show you some pictures because they just sound so good. So right now they've got one coming out for the 4th of July. It's called Freedom. It's orange, chili pepper, pink grapefruit. I love grapefruit scents and blue de Chanel. So a lot of these, it's got like things that you've seen in other beard oils. And then it's got like a little bit of that uh, kind of cologne manly take on it, but it does not smell like a cologne in your face either. So it's kind of a good blend. Um, Cyberpunk 2022 is a fierce cologne, Egyptian amber. I oh, love amber. Uh, suede to back. Uh, Zen Warrior is chai tea, citrus, peppermint, warm vanilla, lavender chamomile. So tea scent. That one sounds interesting. Space Hops is lime, grapefruit beer, Cuban cigar, and white White musk, Ronin spirit is green apple, bergamot, Cuban tobacco, vanilla bean, and aqua di gio. And then the bartenders, Kentucky bourbon, geranium, vetiver, sweet amber, some kind of wood that I can't pronounce, and vanilla. So I, I, I like those enough that I wanted to, I haven't even tried them, but they sounded good enough that I wanted to get that across from, uh, to you guys, some of the, the complexity and the different layers that there are on these scents. So anyway, that's enough of me gushing. It's been a long time since I've gushed over a company, a new company like that. So uh, I highly suggest you check these out, especially that Col Corleone and then the Mr. Dapper. I think almost everybody's going to love those too. Let me know if you've tried this company, Voodoo Men's Craft, and what you've tried. Maybe you've tried some of the other ones there uh, and you can put and put your comments below so guys can check that out. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.